The first bowler to be genuinely put under the academic microscope was the great West Australian Dennis Lilly. After recuperating from crippling back injuries, Lilly's bowling speed was calculated by the University of WA. In 1975, it was measured at 148.5 kilometres an hour. The following year, in another study, he was apparently recorded at 154.8 kilometres an hour. In 1975, a group of academics from the West Australian University filmed the actions of Lillian Thompson, along with West Indians Andy Roberts and Michael Holding, during a test match at the WACA ground. Using high-speed cameras, they were able to calculate, for the first time, just how fast these express pace bowlers were. Well, I think it was part of a, an ongoing study into fast bowling, and we really wanted to know how quick these guys actually bowled. And there weren't two better exponents around at the time than uh, Jeff Thompson and Dennis Louie. So I think we'd been investigating low back injuries in fast bowling and just the initial phase of it. And uh, so we wanted to have a look at these guys actually bowling in the middle. And uh, the whacker let us get out into the ground to do this filming. So that was a, that was a first, and uh, it was a very exciting time. It was a time when really no research had been done on fast bowling at all and people were interested to see how quickly they actually could bowl. So it, quite simply that was what it was for, was just test the speed of bowlers to see what the differences were from different countries and to see if different characteristics were related to different body types. Dennis said we knew the, the filming was going on and he said look the third ball of the second over will be the quickest I bowl all day and uh, it was by about 10k an hour, or uh, miles per hour in those days, and um, his slowest delivery for the whole day. It was interesting. We, we thought the bigger people would naturally be the quickest, but um, the Thompsons of the world, that turned out to be very, very quick in those days, um, showed that it's the distance that you move the ball through. In other words, how far you can move the ball. So his action enabled him to put all his muscles on stretch it enabled him to move the ball through a large displacement and by doing that he actually could achieve what a much taller bowler could do anyway. Lilly, who was far from his best on that day, recorded a speed of 139 kilometres an hour. A young Michael Holding bowled at 148.54. Andy Roberts, who was also unwell, recorded a fastest of 150.67 kilometres an hour whilst Jeff Thompson sent down one delivery officially timed at 160.45. This was acknowledged as the fastest delivery ever recorded and was to become the benchmark for the next three decades. There's been a great deal of interest since that time, but now with Brett Lee and Shoab Akhtar, obviously, you know, the, the speed of bowling has become uh, very much an important part in international cricket again. But um, it's an exciting thing to think that somebody can bowl a ball at 100 miles an hour, and I have no doubt that during his career, quite often, Jeff Thompson did that. In 1979, using the same high-speed film cameras, a group of fast bowlers was assembled to contest the world's fastest bowler competition in Perth. They included Lilly and Thompson, Roberts and Holding, Imran Khan, Colin Croft, Garth LaRue and Richard Hadley. In near 40 degree heat, only two bowlers managed more than 140 kilometres an hour. 130.4, that's Dennis Lilly's fastest to date. Imran Khan, he's been pressing Thompson all day. He was quickish too. 139.1 Michael Holding bowled at 141.3 See, but it certainly looked pretty quick. But it was Jeff Thompson who was consistently faster than anyone else. His quickest delivery was timed at 147.9 kilometres an hour, giving him an easy victory. He won the money for the fastest delivery and also for the most accurate bowler. Oh, middle stump as well. I wasn't even playing. It was the year I got banned from cricket. And uh, Channel 9, the guys from 9 said, Tommo, you've got to go on this. You're the fastest bowler. You've got to end this. And I said, oh, hang on, I'm not even playing. So I went in the bloody thing and won it. And I, all I've been doing is drinking beer sitting on my backside for months. <laughs> 